Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor. Uh, we're going to take a look at financials here. Uh, first, I'm going to look at uh, XLF, um, and then I'm going to take a look at uh, three of the major players players here um, within XLF: uh, Goldman Sachs, um, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America. I believe was the other one that I'm going to cover. So uh, we're looking at the weekly chart here for XLF, where every candle represents a week of trading um, on this index. Okay, and I'm going to show you that the action that we're seeing here in XLF is almost identical to what we've seen um, in the past. Okay, so first and foremost, going back over here, you can see we had this little downtrend like this. All right, after a big dip. Right there, there's the big dip. Uh, and then we broke over the downtrend, and then you can see a big breakout happen right here. Right here, you can see we've got this uh, downtrend right here um, after a big dip. We made higher lows right there, um, very similar to here. There's the higher lows. Here are the higher lows. Oops. Here are the higher lows right there. All right? Low, higher low higher low. Very similar to the action that we are seeing on XLF right now. All right? Here is that downtrend right here. And here are the, um, uh, here's that big dip. So there's that big dip we saw here. There's that big dip we saw right here. Very similar to this dip right here. And then we've got um, higher lows being made uh, right here. Okay. Low, higher low, higher low, higher low. All right, very similar setup. All right, so what does that tell you? That tells you that most likely XLF is going to head higher. I want to give you a little zoomed in picture of XLF. Um, we've got again this uh, downtrend line right here that we're just below. We're just below. Um, the other thing that I like about it too is that we're very coiled. Okay, it, it isn't like we uh, came up to it without any kind of retracement or anything like that. We came up to this level here, and we've virtually been trading sideways here for the last uh, six, seven months. Okay, between this range and this range, we've been trading sideways. Okay, you can see that. Boom, boom, boom. So what is that? That's building up energy. It has a lot of energy, and this whole sideways trading pattern is building up energy as well. So I think that banks are about to break out. We also have this resistance level right here that needs to get broken. You can see boom, 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 boom. Clearly a huge resistance level because it's hitting multiple times and not able uh, to break over that level. So now I want to take a look at some of the individual uh, components here for XLF. Um, we've got uh, Bank of America. Um, you can see Bank of America, very similar I'm going to move my face out of the way over there. And you can see Bank of America, very similar look here. It's been in a downtrend here for the last two years. And this is another thing here. Um, if you've been watching my videos I did on the market, um, a lot of people, when I post on stock twits or YouTube, they say, you know, this is a euphoric market, um, which means everybody's bullish and everybody's invested, which is, is not the case because I'm telling you this uh, banks, does this look euphoric? No, it's sideways trading. Okay, euphoric is when you have a big trend up, you know, like we did uh, previously. You know, this is a euphoric market right there. So we needed to correct. Okay, and this is two years of correcting right here. Okay, you can see huge trend up, and then we just kind of traded sideways for a little bit. All right, and this is just a bigger version of that. All right. That's euphoria, huge trend up. Sideways trading is not euphoria, okay? So I really, really want you to get that through your head, all right? So what that means is that banks can head a lot higher from here, and I think they will. So that's Bank of America. Uh, Wells Fargo, um, you can see, oops, wrong tool. Um, you can see Wells Fargo broke over this resistance right here. All right, it's been in a downtrend for a while. Broke over that resistance. Also broke over this resistance right here. All right, 
broke over it, came down, retested it successfully, um, and now uh, looking like it wants to head higher. I think that Wells Fargo is going to break out as well. Um, that's Wells Fargo. And again, does this look like euphoria? Wells Fargo, which is a major bank, and banks are huge for the market, has been in a downtrend for the last two years. So do you think that if it broke out, it's going to push the market higher? I think so. Okay, so that's Wells Fargo. Goldman Sachs. Um, same thing here. All right, we've got breaking over this downtrend right there. You can see it got rejected, 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 broke over it here, came down, retested it, and landed perfectly against that um, uh, trend line retest and bounced. All right, we also have this new uptrend here for Goldman Sachs. You can see it bounced perfectly off it just recently. And you can see also today huge volume. This is the biggest volume day since, uh, what is this, January, the beginning of January when it broke out over here. All right, so biggest volume day um, in about 10 months. Okay, big, big action. Um, I think that Goldman Sachs is looking for uh, a breakout. The next resistance for Goldman Sachs is up here. Oops, there it is, at about 220. All right, 220 is that next resistance um, for Goldman Sachs. Again, these are the major players here, uh, the major banks that make up XLF, um, and they're all looking like they want to head higher. Okay, So you have to take a broad picture. XLF looks like it's heading higher. It needs to break out over that resistance, um, but all of these major uh, stocks uh, that I mentioned here. Um, oh, I didn't mention JP Morgan. I'm sorry. JP Morgan. How could I forget? So JP Morgan, we're going to look at, um, we're going to look at about five years of action. All right. So, because I really want you to get this, um, the view of this correct. So what we're seeing right now is virtually the same as what we've seen over here. All right, so you can see we have this resistance right there. Boom, we broke over it. Huge breakout. All right, here's a resistance right here. Major resistance. Boom, broke over it here. Huge breakout. Over here, we've got this resistance. We just closed over it today. All right, just closed over it today. So this is really day one down here. This is day one down here. I think the JP Morgan is going to head higher from here, all right? Uh, and this is a major, major bank, guys. JB Morgan, at all-time highs for XLF. So just building the case here for higher prices, um, they're all moving together, all right? Some of them look better than others. Uh, JP Morgan, to me, is uh, the star of the bunch um, because, again, it's at all-time highs. It's breaking over resistance. You get the picture. but uh, but ultimately, I do think financials will head higher from here. So if you don't know, I do run a private membership um, alert service here at thetradinganalyst.com where I share um, live uh, trades with exact um, entry and exit parameters. All of the trades are swing trades, which means they last from anywhere from a couple of days to a couple or few weeks. Um, so no day trading, no scalping, uh, which is perfect for if you have, uh, if you're a working professional, stay at home mom, you're busy with kids, stay at home dad, um, or you're a student. Um, it's perfect for people that have busy lifestyles like myself personally. I have a job. This is my job. Um, I also have two kids, um, that I'm running after, uh, all day long. So I can't be, um, in a chat room or anything all day. Uh, scalping day trades. Um, so if it works for me, I think it's going to work um, for you, and it works for um, uh, a lot of our most of our members um, as well. And you can see these are uh, a few of our recent trades here that we've taken. Um, we have a, about eight or nine open positions right now that are uh, doing really, really well, and they're about I think uh, seven or eight of them are probably going to be uh, winners. Um, and we've already sold some of them per, for profit. But these are the closed out uh, positions that we have. I'm not going to show you the open positions we have. 
because that is for members only. But you can see here the last uh, couple of weeks of trading have been very good for us. Uh, you can see only one loss, and the loss here is very small relative to the uh, winners. You know, we do have losses, they happen, um, but we keep them very small and we let our winners run. That is the key to successful trading. It's not just win rate and winning as many as you can. It's about keeping your losses small because inevitably um, you do have losses. Um, so this is a, a great opportunity for you if you want to make consistent returns um, in the market um, using uh, mostly options. We do mostly options, um, but I do have um, uh, a new uh, IPO strategy that we'll be trading uh, common stocks uh, as well, and that'll be a few uh, or a couple of stock trades per month um, that'll be added to the service with that new strategy. So if you want to make consistent returns with real-time trade alerts, um, I'll start texting you these alerts right away. Um, if a cell phone alert doesn't work for you, I can send them via email as well. So we like to work with um, our clients. In addition to these alerts, you're also going to get private member-only videos similar to this, except I go into a lot more specific details um, that help you navigate uh, the market. The video that I made today about um, financials and the other free videos I do for the public are more general, um, but I get a lot more specific and nitty-gritty, um, and I teach a lot more in our member-only videos. Um, in addition, um, the vast majority of these trades that we've taken here um, are put onto a watch list ahead of time. So you're prepared um, for what's uh, these trades ahead of time. We're not just throwing out these alerts um, and hoping that you can follow along. You know exactly where we're looking to buy, what position we're looking to take, so that you can be prepared ahead of time and know what to expect. And it's going to help you learn as well because you're seeing the entire process. Um, the other thing, um, so all of that you're going to get, uh, but most importantly, you're getting these profitable trade alerts that essentially are going to put money in your pocket with little to no effort on your part. So I look forward to having you as a new member, and I hope that you make that decision for yourself uh, to make consistent gains on a regular basis. I hope to see you in there, and I'll see you guys next time.